Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station update. On board the International Space Station, the Expedition 31 crew, uh, Commander Oleg Koninenko and U.S. flight engineers Don Pettit and Joe Acaba, as well as European flight engineer Andrei Kuipers and Russian flight engineers Gennady Padanka and Sergei Revin, are now more than halfway through their day, which started at 1 a.m. Central Time. Flight engineer Don Pettit is about halfway through a four-hour-long project that he's working on with the Amin Swing Bed experiment, experiment that's aimed at determining whether a vacuum-regenerated amine system can effectively remove carbon dioxide from the station's air. Its control unit power handler circuit board has uh, blown a fuse, and Pettit is repairing that today by soldering a new fuse into place. Flight engineer Joe Acaba is participating again in the integrated cardiovascular experiment and the pro -K diet experiment. That first looks at the body's uh, reaction to being in space, particularly its cardiovascular system's reaction. And the second is an experiment that looks at whether ca diet dietary countermeasures will help lessen the bone loss that astronauts often experience during long duration missions. Flight engineer Andre Kuipers has finally wrapped up his work with a Ryute repair that he and Pettit have been working on for the past week. That's a Japanese experiment rack in the Kibo laboratory, and its power supply uh, for its imaging image processing unit has had a short circuit several months ago. Pettit and Kuipers have taken turns over the past several days working on that repair, and Kuipers installed the newly repaired unit back into the Ryute rack yesterday and today hook the racks, hoses, and power cables back up to get it up and running. Kuipers also took some time out today of his task to talk with Dutch broadcasters from Amsterdam in, in his hometown and answer questions about life on the space station. On the Russian side of the station, Commander Oleg Koninenko was also working on science experiments, in particular uh, the identification experiment, which is aimed at identifying sources of vibration that disrupt the microgravity conditions on the space station. And flight engineer Gennady Padanka was again working on the Kolonovsky crystal experiment, which studies the effect of microgravity on charged particles in a magnetic, magnetic field. Koninenko, Kuipers, and Pettit have just a little more time left to fit in their work on the space station. They've been at the station since December, and with 169 days in space and 167 at the space station, they're coming up on the end of their stay and will be returning to Earth on July 1st. Their crewmates, Akaba, Padanka, and Revan, still have most of their mission in front of them. They only uh, arrived at the station last month and have now spent 23 days in space, 21 at the space station. They're going to be staying on board the station until September. A couple of weeks after uh, their crewmates leave, Akaba, Padanka, and Revan are going to be joined by what will then be the rest of the Expedition 32 crew. That's Suni Williams, Yuri Malenchenko, and Aki Hoshide. Those three are scheduled to launch from Baikonur on July 15th, and they are actually already in Russia preparing for their departure. Today, they were at the Garin Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City, taking part in a Russian segment simulation. That's what's going on in space today, and this is Mission Control Houston.